I'm Mark Jemison, and I'm here with Dr. Marco Muziani, and uh, just have a few questions about wolves. I study zoology, so I have a keen interest in them. Thank you, Mark. Okay, so basically, uh, the wolf is like a symbol of nature. And like whenever I whenever I think of wolves, I think of like the the wolf on like the cliff, and uh, like you know howling at the moon. So like, do the wolves howl at the moon, or like, you know, what is actually happening? Somebody that uh, I recall, and I want to mention here, say that the Buddha is perfectly comfortable in a natural environment or within the engine of a motorcycle. And I think the wolves are perfectly comfortable in beautiful landscapes, in the wilderness, and sometimes even much closer to people and human features than we think. Mm -hmm. They have a, a high like social cohesion. So, and you know, people always talk about them with like, they have the roles, the beta, the omega, the alpha. Are these roles like set? Like whenever they're born, like the wolf will have a personality or can these, the, can these like roles be switched and changed, sort of? What has always surprised me of wolves is uh, one aspect. And this aspect is that, yes, they are hierarchical animals mm -hmm. and there is a female hierarchy and there is a male hierarchy. And there is a so-called pecking order. So mm -hmm. any male knows to which animal it is dominant and to which animal it is not dominant. And any female will know. So like the females say of the wolves would be able to like squabble amongst themselves and the males would squabble amongst themselves, but they don't squabble between the sexes sort of thing. Exactly. Okay. And the idea behind that is that uh, there is uh, more or less only one female and one male that consistently reproduces in a pack. Yeah. And what happens is that uh, the male will prevent aggressively other males from reproducing and the female will do the same with other females. Okay. So that is the basis for this hierarchy. Yeah. Okay, very good. Um, how many would be in each pack? Like, It depends on the conditions, but uh, more or less there is a rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. The bigger the preferred prey, the bigger the pack. Yeah. So in regions where the preferred prey is bison, for example, Wood Buffalo National Park, mm -hmm. over there you can see big packs, yeah. up to say 15, 20 wolves. Okay. Uh, in areas where the uh, prey is medium size, uh, like elk, mm -hmm. then you have packs of approximately, say, 10 individuals. Yeah. In areas where the prey is smaller, say deer, then around five, six. Yeah. There's werewolves that get depicted in, in uh, movies, you know, like they get depicted as this bipedal, like eating machine. So, aside from the biological limitations. Like robots with uh, strange uh, uh, fluorescent eyes. Yes, I agree with you. So, apart from the biological limitations of this, you know, like if werewolves were to exist and, you know, humans get, like, would they have like social order like a wolf pack would have? Or how do you think like a, a werewolf would be? If werewolves were. Yeah, yeah, if they were real. If werewolves were real, you should ask to my girls, one is nine years old and the one, the one is uh, seven years old. They have opinions. Everybody has an opinion about werewolves. And personally, I like these stories about werewolves. Yeah. I think that, again, they demonstrate how people use wolves to relate to nature. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, uh, people uh, want to have uh, a wilderness in nature. Uh, part of this is the mystery of uh, uh, wilderness, yeah. what we cannot know or control, and wolves represent just that. So this maybe explains our attraction for werewolves, or my attraction to werewolves yeah. too. Now, if werewolves were real, I think, again, that you should ask to my girls, uh, I think that they would behave uh, 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 simply like uh, wolves and a bit more evil, simply because we want that that way. Yeah, the mind wants it to be this evil beast. Yeah, yeah. that's great. Thank you, Marco. Thank you. Thank you very much.